So first, let's see that in this particular Windows Server 2012 R2, we don't have any software installed, totally blank. So we will start installing the prerequisites for SharePoint 2016 uh, preview. The first thing that we need to do is to kind of add an account, is in this case, SP admin account as a local admin, as I was showing. And notice that I am logged as SP admin. So I have everything I need to kind of run the prerequisite installers. Um, so let's go to the actual SharePoint 2016 drive and run the prerequisite installer exe application. This application will allow us to configure the server with the roles that SharePoint 2016 requires. And also it will download those softwares and prerequisite software that the platform needs. So right now, as you can see here, we are configuring the application server role and the web server role. So this process will actually configure Windows Server 2012 R2 to have the roles that SharePoint requires. You will notice that when we run the prerequisite installer, we need to reboot. Even if we have an error like that, we need to restart the server because we just enable the IIS and the application server role. So a restart is required. So that's what I'm doing here. Let's wait until we come back and then we will continue running the prerequisite installer. So again, I will log as SP admin. And again, I will run prerequisite installer. Prerequisite installer will validate that we have the roles already and it will start downloading and installing the additional prerequisite software that the platform requires. So again, notice that I am going to run prerequisite installer exe file. And the process again uh, will start uh, from the very beginning, but it will not provision the roles. The roles are already provisioned in the server so that will kind of uh, continue. And as you can see now, it is downloading different software and then installing. For each specific prerequisite software, the process will do that. And again, it will require another restart in order to complete. So you can expect three restarts as part of the prerequisite installer process in order to be um, successful with the prerequisite installer process. Okay, so notice there is asking us for restarting the server again. We will restart the server, log in SP admin, and you will notice that in this third occasion, automatically will again run the prerequisite installer and basically go all over the process again. Additional software will get downloaded and will get installed, as you can see here. And notice when you see installation complete, that means that your prerequisites are in good shape, that everything got installed properly. Notice in the programs inside of control panel, all the prerequisite software that now is installed in the server. Remember, this is a single server farm, SharePoint 2016 preview, deployment, 